Hey guys, so we're here back again with another edition of the monthly channel update, this time for the month of July 2022. Got lots to talk about this month. Got a lot of figures in, got no money to speak of right now. So, I'm not going to dilly-dally here so this thing doesn't run too long. First things first, Blackest Nightwing. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. They are sitting right there in front of you. Uh, spoiler alert, though, the Black Lanterns. I will be saving those for Halloween time. Got lots planned for Halloween time this year. We're going to be doing it right. Hoping to have, be able to pump out Halloween-related content all month long. The entire month of October will be nothing but scary monsters and super freaks, as David Bowie liked to say. R.I.P. But, coming up next week, we will be doing the Collectabuild Atrocitus prematurely. I usually don't do the Collectabuild Build-A-Figure, whatever you want to call it, first. But, in this case, I'm making an exception because, well, long story short, it's my channel. I'll do whatever the hell I want. That said, we will also be doing Kyle Rayner. It will be the Wednesday video. On Tuesday, I'll probably look at uh, one of the Warhammer guys I got on clearance. I got a couple. Uh, we just did the Battle Sister this past week. Uh, we're going to be doing the Reaver. I forget his name exactly, but something Reaver, Space Marine, something or other, I don't really know. But uh, we'll be doing that Tuesday. And then Thursday, we're going to dive into the Playmates Wildcats line. Because we just wrapped up Mummies Alive this past month for Throwback Thursdays. And uh, we need to move on to something else. I can't just do Spawn all the time, okay? Got to mix it up a little bit. So, we're going to be delving into Wildcats, another Image Comics property. Huh, that's not as diverse as I was hoping, but you know what? It is what it is. And then Friday, as promised in my Ghost Rider video yesterday, we will be doing the animated Superman from the DC Multiverse line. That said, if you didn't check out my Ghost Rider video from yesterday, please, 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 please check it out. I put a lot more effort into that than I typically do for a Flashback Friday mean a lot to me if you haven't checked it out already to check it out you won't be disappointed i assure you because what better way to celebrate the 50th anniversary of my boy johnny blaze than to review quite possibly my favorite hasbro legends at this point i don't think anything's touching that ghost rider right now now if they did a danny catch that'd be a different story that might have a chance but right now good old johnny blaze i think is my favorite hasbro legends at this point even though he's not pinless which I didn't mind pins before. I mind them now, but that Ghost Rider's also not gummy and loose, so maybe that's why. That said, another video you guys should check out if you haven't already. My top 10 favorite action figures of the year so far video from a week ago. Put a lot of effort into that as well. If you haven't checked that out, please do so. You might find it a little bit more interesting than previous years because of the way I chose to do it. The main thing is, I only did one figure per toy line, so it's a lot more diverse than previous years. That, and it's a lot shorter than my top 13 action figures of 2021 video. So, you know, there is that. It's shorter, but like, I don't know, 20 minutes? <laughs> it's like less than 20 minutes. So, if you got like 20 minutes to spare, by all means, that's the video to check out right now. Other than that, it's pretty much going to be a DC Multiverse love fest for a while. I got lots of that to review. Lots and lots and lots and lots of DC Multiverse to review. So we're probably going to be doing that because A, it's a little bit easier because they come with less accessories. And B, it's what I have sitting around me at this current time. That said, we might mix it up with some Motu, some Marvel Legends. We'll see. I got a lot of stuff in from BBTS this past week, so... Only time will tell, I suppose. But with that being said, speaking of stuff coming in, will someone please tell Four Horsemen to ship what they have of my Alithia order, please? I don't know. I don't want to wait till Halloween to review those, but at this rate, I might as well do that because I still haven't got any of my Alithia stuff yet. I know they were just shipping certain orders, but they're like overflowing now, and now that they got the Deluxe Legion Builders, they have even less space in their uh, studio, so I don't know. It would help me out and help you out a lot if you just ship me what you got. 
I mean, come on, man, really? How long do I gotta wait for those? Because the longer I wait, the more guys like Toy Bro and D Amazing, which, not trying to throw shade, I like those guys' channels, check them out if you haven't already, they're gonna beat me to the punch and get way more views. <laughs> I ain't gonna get to 500 doing 10s and 20s. I need 50s and 100s, man. Come on. Come on, man. Help your boy out. That said, speaking of stuff I've paid for and I'm still waiting for, my Spiro Toys Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, I think those are supposed to be the next couple of months. So we'll see. We'll see about those. Uh, they might take precedence over anything i am currently got planned, but... We'll see. If they show up in October, then they're going to wait. If they show up in September, then they're going to be uh, the main focus. Because, again, I need better traffic on this channel. This past summer, not just month, but the whole summer, my traffic has sucked big, fat, hairy donkey balls. And we need to fix that. I don't know how, so if anyone has any good suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Because I'm getting sick of the 10s and 20s. I put too much work in these videos to not get at least 50 to 100 views, which is not unrealistic by any means. I'm not asking for 50 likes. I'm not asking for 50 comments. I'm asking for 50 to 100 views a pop. That's not a lot to ask. That's asking very, very little of YouTube. I say that because it all depends on how their algorithm wants to screw my channel. Because that's the gist of it. It's all about that algorithm. And if I could just shoot that thing in the head with a bullet and watch it fall to the ground and die bleeding out onto the floor, I might be able to get somewhere. Along with a bunch of friends of mine who also are struggling for views right now. So, you know, uh, F the YouTube algorithm. It's a little punk bitch. That said, I may have something very special coming to the channel this month. We will see. I don't want to jinx myself out of it, but if it happens, you will know right then and there. If it doesn't happen, I'll let you guys know what it could have been in the next monthly channel update. Other than that, I'm leaving it there. That said, speaking of other stuff we're waiting on, uh, I just pre-ordered Booster Gold and Blue Beetle from the DC Multiverse line, which if you haven't done that, you might want to get on that because it's starting to sell out. Uh, that said, I am also waiting on Necron and Bane, who should be dropping any day now. Um, people are already getting those from the McFarland Toy Store. So, given the fact that this Blackest Night Wave took BBTS like two weeks to get after... Oh, the channel I watch is from Before Figs. He got this wave from the McFarland Toy Store. And then two weeks after he got it, or like a week after he got it... I can't remember... BBTS got it, so I'm hoping that maybe Necron and Bane process soon. Kinda, sorta. I don't really have the money for them right now. Be much easier if they pre-ordered past the halfway point of the month, just because that's how the credit card works. Um, be a little bit less yeah, scrambling to pay for them and stuff, but, you know, content is content, and those are going to be really good content. Because they are brand spanking new. That said, Necron would probably be on hold till Halloween. But Bane, not so much. Uh, I'm going to get that Bane out as soon as I get him. As soon as I get him, I assure you. I promise this time. I'm not going to dilly-dally and wait like I am with these Black Lanterns here. We're going to get that shit rolling. But other than that, I do have Talon, Deathstroke, and Static Shock on pre-order as well. I think they're all set to drop in between now and October, so we'll see about that. I haven't seen any reviews on Talon, Deathstroke, or Static Shock yet, but uh, I haven't really looked. I've only seen reviews of Bane and Necron so far. So uh, fingers crossed, I get mine sooner rather than later, but at a time where it's convenient to pay for them. That said, as always, I got plenty planned for you guys. Don't worry, there will not be a hiatus. I have plenty of content to create. It's just how well is it going to do on this channel? Because I really don't know at this point. I'm hoping these Blackest Night figures do a little bit better than my current sucky ass average. But uh, only time will tell, I guess. So with that being said, that's really all I got to say, man. Uh, lots of poopy QC issues this past month. That sucks ass. I'd like to see that gone, period. At least for my channel. If everyone else got it, that'd be different. You know, but uh, that is unfortunately not the case. And speaking of which, I got a bone to pick with this windowless packaging bullshit from Hasbro, okay? 
Uh, Spider-Man and Spinneret 2-pack missing paint and Venom and Null 2-pack missing paint. That's not a good sign, man. Uh, thankfully, I pre-ordered mine from BBTS who will actually do something about quality control issues. But uh, I still don't want to go through the trouble of doing it. Even though BBTS is wonderful to work with, I have nothing against them at all. I'd like to just buy the shit and enjoy the shit. I mean, I know I have standards, but could you at least paint the damn things? What the hell? I don't know. This windowless packaging, if this isn't a wake-up call for Hasbro to step up their QC, I don't know what it is. I really don't. Anything they should go back to, at least a window and the figures on a cardboard tray of some kind. Just so, you know, retailers can notice if Venom's eye is painted or not. Yeah, I heard that's a thing. That's pretty stupid. It's big and white and right on his freaking face. How do you miss that? I can't see two feet in front of me and I can't miss that. Either way. That's pretty much all I got to say for this month, guys. Uh, again, if you haven't checked out my Ghost Rider or Top 10 Figures of the Year yet videos, please do so. They mean a lot to me. I put a lot of work into those. More than usual, which is typically always the case for a Top 10 video. But you know the drill. You know how I roll. You know how my content is done. And you know that the YouTube algorithm can suck a fat one. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this month's edition of the monthly channel update. If you are so inclined, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know whenever I upload more content to the channel. Got plenty coming your way, as always. Five videos a week. I don't see that going away. I don't see a video every day coming back, but I don't see five videos a week going away anytime soon. That said, gotta apologize to my boy, Evil Villain. I accidentally deleted the last edition of what's in the box, so the next box I get from him... I will show you guys the stuff he sent me in the previous box. Outside of One Dark, because we already reviewed him. That's old news at this point. But, with all that being said, he did send me a really nice side swipe from uh, Transformer Siege. I love that figure. It's really awesome. And some extra Battle Tribe stuff. So, I want to showcase that. And uh, that's the best way to do it right now. Because, uh, again, video schedule is kind of tight. Even though I will make exceptions if certain things show up. <clears throat> Mythic Legion. So, with that being said, if you haven't already, please hit me up on Instagram at Overlord Productions. But as always, keep the comment civil because the world sucks enough as it is, especially when you're broke as shit like me and don't feel like you really have a lot to show for it. I mean, I got a lot of stuff, but if I had those Mythic Legions, I feel a little bit better about where this channel was right now. I mean, shit, man. That's a hop, skip, and a jump away. What's up with that? What's up with that? And until next time. I'll catch you guys later. But wait, there's more. Yeah, in my haste of complaining about my piss poor views and the fact that I'm a total broke bitch right now, I neglected to mention a few things that are kind of important in regards to the channel. So, without further ado, dude, let's get right into that before this thing drags out longer than it needs to be. Although, if you've been here this long, Chances are you have a lot of free time on your hands or you got the day off. So it is what it is, I suppose. But with all that being said, Comic-Con. Yeah, stupid I didn't talk about any of the Comic-Con stuff. But you know what? To be honest with you, the fact that all these retail stores are talking about how these online pre-orders are in fact a con and not just an online pre-order to make more money is total bullshit to me and it kind of pisses me off. That said... I did manage to get a few things, so let's talk about those right quick. Starting off with good buddy Evil Villain, always hooking it up as usual. Managed to snag me the Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Series Lizard. Really stoked about that. As well as the Masterverse Jitsu and Battle Armor He-Man. Not sure what those are from. I do believe Battle Armor He-Man is... New Eternia Jitsu might be New Eternia as well. I almost think he's Revelation. Someone let me know if I'm wrong about that in the comments below. But either way, Evil Villain hooked it up there. By the way, if you're curious, the Lizard and Battle Armor He-Man were on Walmart. Jitsu was on Amazon. I think you might still be able to pre-order most of those. That said, what you can't pre-order is the Mattel Hot Wheels Ghost Rider. That's right, your boy managed to snag one of those through 
good old Mr. Brian came through for a change. Granted, we had to wait in line for several minutes and probably took several years off our lives doing so, but hey, we each got one, and that's really all that matters, right? Kind of sucks that not only that, but all the stuff that Evil Villain pre-ordered for me ain't coming out till like mid-October, late October. Pretty curious why the hell that is since they just had them at the show and I guarantee you they still got some left, but it is what it is, I suppose. Speaking of which, they did also have Hero at the Entertainment Earth booth, but I placed my pre-order over at BBTS like a lot of people I know because... Not having to pay up front gets you a lot of business, I'm afraid to say. So, with that being said, I'm looking forward to that. Again, probably October on him as well, even though he was a Comic-Con. I'm sure they haven't sold out him yet, but it is what it is, I suppose. Other than that, uh, nothing crazy. You know, I saw some of the reveals. I wasn't too impressed. Uh, kind of stoked we're getting the last two symbiotes for the Life Foundation, a new classic Black Panther. That Scorpion's cheap shit, but I'm a sucker. Probably going to buy it anyways. Uh, G.I. Joe had some good reveals. I did pre-order uh, Sergeant Slaughter, but I did miss out on Dr. Mindbender. Because, well, when it's open for an hour to Pulse Premium members, you kind of got to be on it the first five minutes or else you're going to miss out. I didn't uh, check it till several minutes after, so... It is what it is. Hopefully they put them in the main line. If not, well, then that's pretty freaking stupid, isn't it? That said, uh, other stuff I saw. Uh, Dragon Megatron, which I believe is a uh, Transmetals thing, if I'm not mistaken. They did the Optimus Primal from that series, so nice to see the uh, Megatron as well. Uh, other than that, nothing crazy. Nothing blowing my mind. Uh, NECA Gargoyles was probably the best thing. Because uh, we're finally getting Angela, we're getting Xanatos and the Steel Clan, including Xanatos' specific Steel Clan armor. And then, I didn't see Elisa Maza there, but Demona did have her cloak wings, so that's a good sign. So hopefully, this means they're going to build this line out, uh, hopefully past the Season 1 cast, because we still haven't seen the pack or Macbeth yet, which is kind of bullshit, considering how many MF and Ninja Turtles they like to show off. Uh, that said, they did show off some of the monster ones, which are my bread and butter when it comes to neck turtles, or anything turtles right now, because uh, you guys know how I roll. I'm a 2003 turtles guy, and right now, I ain't doing shit for that. So, with that being said, that's pretty much it. I figured I'd throw some Comic-Con BS in the end of this. Hopefully it didn't drag out too long. But in case it did, thanks for sticking around. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.